everyone, this is Tim from Forgotten Millennials, and this is the best video I have seen all year. With 10,131 views, Radical Cram School, number one, Media Studies. By Christina Wong, with 2.8 thousand subscribers. Man, I would love to have 2.8 thousand subscribers. Let's make that a benchmark. I'll make a random benchmark of 2.8 thousand subscribers. I'll make a fun video after that. And people will be like, why is he doing a video of 2.8? Well, go back to my older videos. You'll find out. So, we've got a, a like ratio of 149 likes to 736 dislikes. You can possibly see where this is going to go in the near future because this will probably go viral. reason I say that is because I found this in a random tweet sent to me. By a fan, great fans, uh, out of my 246 that I have currently. Um, they provided me with a uh, an awesome video. I've already seen this, and I've, I have a lot to say about it. So, it was published August 14, 2018. And uh, let me just give you a quick quiz. Do you think that there will be comments enabled on this video? If you said no, you'd be absolutely right. Comments are disabled for this video. Because they don't want a conversation. Nazis and communists never want a conversation. They want to take over society. They want to kick you out of their utopian society. That's what these people want. They don't want conversation. They don't want discourse. They don't want any of that. They want violence, death, and control. That's it. So now let's see Christina Wong. Radicalized Kids. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Radical Cram School. We're going to learn about social justice, revolution, and how to be powerful. So you're trying to make a kids program, right? So here's an idea. Let's put a pink-haired feminist, dual-wielding middle fingers, flashing, you know, the kids that are possibly watching this or doing whatever. And you know it's bad and crazy and ridiculous because you blurred it out. Why even put it there? So bizarre. These people's heads are so bizarre. I don't know where their thought process comes from. It's, and he's, a lot of these people are actually educated. It's incredible. It shows our education system. This is what it is. It's what it's turning into. You'll see. Let's keep going. Evolution and how to be powerful in the body that you have. Hello, my young comrades. This is incredible. She comes right out the gate, not wasting any time. Hello, comrades. Hello, comrades. That's what she's doing. She got berets on all the kids' heads, got sashes. It's unbelievable. These are actual kids. These are not just, like, computer-generated adults. This isn't something that... These are kids sitting in a room, being fed communist bullshit. So let's keep going. Let's dive deeper into this. It gets worse, guys. It gets much worse. I'm going to show a picture. This is my way of figuring out if you've been tainted by the patriarchy. Patriarchy? What? Ah! Look at this. She doesn't even know what the word patriarchy is. Thank God she doesn't know what the word patriarchy is yet. Now she'll know. Because she's going to tell her what it is. It's unreal. I hate this. I hate seeing kids exploited like this. This is exploitation. For a YouTube channel. I don't understand that. They're not even in a real classroom. I, I assume it's not a real classroom because there's some production value behind this. It seems like there's lighting, there's makeup, there's all this weird overproduced shit going on. And then behind her, she's got a pie chart. Let me see if she moves. So she's got a pie chart. Well, Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram, guys. All right, don't at me. American, female, and Asian. This is everything that goes on in this woman's head day in and day out. I'm an American. I'm a female. I'm an Asian. I'm an American. I'm a female. I'm an Asian. It never stops. This is why she ends up teaching kids communism. This is why the identity politic bullshit that people have been absorbing over the past 10 years, it doesn't work. It does not work. People are seeing it. They're not being censored like they used to. People are seeing through it now. Look at this. She's got a nice watch. Communism didn't make you that watch, bitch. 
Communism didn't do that. Where'd you buy that? Did you buy it at Best Buy? With your non-husband? Because he's part of the patriarchy? And she whips out Harvey Weinstein here. They're not going to know who this guy is. Well, I, who, is that? who do you think it is? This looks creepy. It looks creepy. <laughs> Why? There's just like this thing about white people that just makes me feel like... <laughs> I'm like, is there... Oh my god. Oh my god. They made her racist already. She's already racist. How dare you make a child that racist so early on. That's... That's irresponsible. She doesn't... Look at her face. She doesn't even see it. She doesn't even see what she's done to this child. That's disgusting. This is disgusting. This shouldn't exist. I mean, I'm not going to deplatform her. I'm not for deplatforming. This is why we don't want deplatforming. So people like this are shown. This is exactly what I want. I want to show the world that these people exist... Or as far as I could possibly go with my shitty 246 subscribers. This is exactly why we don't advocate for deplatformation of people. Because of people like this. People like this. I can't believe she made this girl so racist so early on. No regular kid would talk like that about another race. You disgusting pig. You disgusting pig of a woman. Oh, you suck. You suck. Let's let's continue. This is disgusting. Like right there in a pool, and I'm just like walking into the pool, and they just give me the death stare, and then I'm just like. So if this guy was in the pool, <laughs> you would moonwalk out. Yeah, Does he look like a good stuff. guy or a bad guy? Bad guy. Bad guy. Who who do we think this is? Make a guess. Oh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Who's? That. That's Woody Allen. What? Why is she telling him it's Dumbledore? It's Woody Allen. Woody Allen is not even the actor that plays Dumbledore. Is that what they're saying? My God. She's not even telling them real things. She's not even telling them, like, factual information. This is incredible, man. I, I, fuck these people. Fuck these people, dude. Oh, my God. My New Yorker's coming out. It's not good. This is, this is really upsetting. Who's he married to? <laughs> Who's your guest? Katy Perry. <laughs> Uh, I I really like the picture they use for Trump. Honestly, uh, I, I find it I find it pretty hilarious. What do we know about him? He's bad. Yeah, he's bad. Orange man bad guys. Orange man bad. They got it already. How do we feel about this wall? I honestly like the picture they used of him. They used like a nice memeable photo. I want that photo. That'd be funny. Blocking opportunity for people that don't live in America to come here for a better opportunity. And, and, uh, and, uh, wow, that was such a nice script. Wow, that was so nice. She's either reading off of something, which she's doing very well, or she just memorized this. They said, you have to study this, jam this into your brain, and then spew it out all over camera. It's incredible. Uh, oh, these people suck. These people are terrible. The people that take advantage of kids like this, I can't stand them. I can't stand them to push their stupid narrative. I can't, I can't take it. I hate the mainstream media, and I hate people like this. These are the two things I hate in life, in the media. It's terrible. This is the worst you get. People exploiting kids. It's incredible. They're making them racist. They're putting all these thoughts, and I remember, I remember, this, stuff like this brings me back to when I was in second grade. It was 1998. Bill Clinton was going into office soon. Before the election, they're like, who are you going to vote for? It was just Bill Clinton across the board. It was incredible. They they would try to brainwash, say, Bill Clinton. I remember my teacher saying this. I'll never forget it. She's like, yeah, Bill Clinton, that's the guy. You should go with him while we were doing the votes. And I was like, oh, whatever. Like, as kids, like, we just, they don't understand the nuances of anything that's shown to them. Very concerning. It's it, th this is not a real classroom. I assume it's not a real classroom because there's actually like really good lighting involved. Um, you know, there's some makeup. There's some production value behind this. 
Um, it doesn't look like a normal classroom environment. Thank God. But they're still exploiting kids for YouTube, which is questionably. You know what? I like that. It's possibly not in the school system. But you know it is. You know these people are doing the same shit in schools. And I hate it. It drives me absolutely crazy and up a wall. Uh, let's go. Let's go on to the next part. We all came at some point from some other place. My dad came here and my mom came here too. They came here from where? Cambodia. Oh, wow. What do you think they think that they came from all the way to Cambodia and this is what they get to look at on the TV screen all the time? <laughs> oh, well, at least in Cambodia, um, you know, they wouldn't have to see him, but they'd have to see AK-47s put up to their face. Or how about lack of food? Or how about rampant crime? How about that? <sighs> Such ignorance. I, I can't... Man, it's amazing. I, I can't get over these people. It's it's incredible. Let's continue. It is Hello Kitty. What is she missing? Where's, where's her mouth? No, her the, mouth? Why doesn't she have a mouth? The people who created her didn't want Asian girls um, to, to speak up about their, who they are. Yeah, to speak up about who they were. Very pr How the hell would she know that? I didn't even know that. I think it's an interesting point. But where the hell did she pull that from? Who is giving her this information? And Hello Kitty's what, like 50 years old? It's not the most loved thing in Japan. It's still the most loved thing in Japan. It's incredible. So they're like, oh, you know, people embrace a feminine thing. Let's, let's just kill it. We got to kill everything. Kill everything that moves. That's what they want to do. Let's continue. Profound, very profound. So if Hello Kitty had a mouth, what would she say? If she had a mouth, she's been she's been keeping bolted up in her all these years. Let me hear it. <laughs> Alyssa, what are you gonna say? I love you. Oh. <laughs> what are these poor kids? They have no idea. They have no idea how many people communism has killed. They have no clue. This is exploitation to the absolute maximum. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Whoever makes this or whoever funds this is a criminal. They should be charged. This is insane. This is child abuse. Christina Wong. This is the person doing this. Welcome to Rap. This is a very concerning channel. Man, they have a lot of videos. Oh no, they don't have a lot of videos. Asian Women Review. Every Man's Guide to Asian Sex. Oh my god. Why are you mixing classroom kids entertainment with sex topics? MILF hunting? What the hell? Why are you mixing adult themes with children's shows? Is this fake? Is this parody? No, this isn't parody. This is bad. This is... Dating Asian women. How to get a Vietnamese girlfriend. The dark side of Asian women. These are like adult topics slapped with kid programming this is so weird oh and she works for now this look at this what is going on in this channel right now oh my god incredible look at this she's she's running for public office oh my god this is incredible so guys Check out Christina Wong if you dare. I'm about to binge watch her videos because, man, this was entertaining as hell. Um, I can't believe this person exists on the internet. It's fantastic. I'm glad I was able to exploit this and show how ridiculous it is. That's going to be it for me, guys. You guys have a great day now.